What's up everybody, my name is Mr. Puppeteer, and today we're finally going to play the game that I uh, announced is my favorite game, or one of my favorite games of all time. I played it so much as a kid, I played a little bit here and there um, in 2015-ish, because when I had the Xbox, I played the Master Collection, and I thought this was actually the remaster with the new HD graphics, so I bought it when it instantly came out. And then I had to instantly go to Disney right after that. So I was, I've was i been gone this whole time. I have like all this Disney footage that I want to uh, upload. But we are back and I am back. And we are going to play slash watch the beginning of Metal Gear uh, Solid 3 Snake Eater. I don't know how much I can upload of this, but we're going to see. Um, like I said, I'm going to ha have like other shorts of like Disney and other things coming out soon and even the Animal Crossing cards I didn't didn't forget about that so um just be patient but until then I'm gonna play this so here we go oh yeah Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater HD edition 2011 yeah I think that was when I played this last was 2012 um yeah, there's no, like, camera settings. Um, I like Metal Gear Solid 3. Let's do European Extreme. What? I've actually never seen that before. I'm also going to turn my phone off. Sorry about that. Like I said, I don't know how much I can show of the beginning. So, I mean, it's just basically going to be uh, watching a bunch of cutscenes the whole time anyways. Uh, so grab your popcorn and enjoy the show. After the end of World War II, <clears throat> the world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. Cold War. Whoa. David Hayter. I'm so sad they got rid of him. I think they're bringing him back for HD or Delta. I keep forgetting it's called it's Metal Gear Solid Delta. Flying over Pakistan, altitude 30,000 feet. August 24th. Approaching Soviet airspace. 20 minutes to drop off. Commencing internal depressurization. Equipment check. Our main parachute. All right. You ready to go? He's Our ready, boys. A high pressure mass. Cab okay. Good. <clears throat> We've got high visibility. Hideo Kojima. No smoking on the airplane. Oxygen hose to interior connector. Put on your mask. I like how you can see the line on his head where his bandana goes. Does this panty waste? Oh, see, I got one too. Yeah, look, I even have the man bun. So. Approaching release point. Uh. Ten minutes to drop off. Hey, are you deaf? He said, put out the cigar. Yeah, see, I got the same. I didn't do the chin though. I guess I should have done that, but it doesn't really work on like facial hair. So, so Toyota. Depressurization oh. complete. Checking oxygen. I like that mask. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. <laughs> Dun 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 dun
one for the history books. The world's first halo jump. The world's face. Oh, for ten seconds to drop off. I cannot even hear myself. That's how loud this game is. Status okay. All green. Prepare for drop off. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice Bring knife. Wings and fly. God be with you. Yes. Whoa. Yo, 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 yo. Not Tom Cruise. Oh, that tingles. See, I only hope that um, Oscar Isaac uh, performs really well with him. Or as him, I guess, because they're still. I think they're still making the Metal Gear movie, but I hope it's more like Snake Eater esque. The green light for the virtuous mission. Virtual mission. No. Virtuous. You idiot. The future of our Fox unit depends on it. If it succeeds, we'll be officially organized into a unit. Virtuous mission. Sounds like some kind of initiation ritual. <laughs> you know, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. I mean. Right. So what exactly is this wonderful mission? Wonderful well, mission. About two years ago, a certain Soviet scientist requested mm. asylum in the West through one of our moles. His name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. Sokolov. He's head of the OKB754 Design Bureau. Looks like a standard butler. Research facilities. And the East's foremost expert on weapons development. Sokolov. Kind of Is like the Monopoly man. Scientist? The very same. On April the 12th, 1961, the Soviets achieved the first manned space flight mm. in history. The Earth was blue, but there was no God. Well spoken. The rocket that carried Yuri Gagarin to orbit was the A-1, known as the Vostok rocket. Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. After Gagarin's flight, Sokolov left rocket development to become the head of the newly established Design Bureau. From a lowly technician to head of a Design Bureau, that's quite a success story. So why do you want to defect? <clears throat> it seems he'd become afraid of his own creations. Yeah, that afraid. typically happens. Call it a crisis of conscience. And for that, he left his country and his family behind and went over the fence? Not exactly. One of his conditions was that his family was also to be taken safely to the West. We used a mole to get the family out first and succeeded in sneaking Sokolov over the Berlin Wall shortly afterwards. I was the one who conducted the operation. The security on the eastern side was still full of holes back then. Then what? We got Sokolov over in one piece, but the whole ordeal had left him exhausted and we checked him into a hospital in West Berlin. It took him two weeks and more than 600 miles to get from the research facility in the mm. Soviet Union to Berlin. He was in no condition to say anything coherent. And it was only a week later that we had something much bigger on our hands. The oh, Kennedy yeah. Missile crisis. October the 16th, Kennedy. President Kennedy received word that the Soviets were in the process of deploying intermediate range ballistic missiles in Cuba. Cuba. The president demanded that the Soviets dismantle and remove the missiles. At the same time, he announced a naval blockade to prevent Ooh. further missile shipments from Sorry. reaching Cuba. But the Soviets didn't back down, instead placing their armed forces on secondary alert. Soviet transport ships carrying missiles continued on course towards Cuba. U.S. Okay. and Soviet forces went on alert for an all-out nuclear war. Frantic negotiations were conducted through the UN's Emergency Security Council and unofficial channels. This reminds me of, like, Black Ops. Finally, on October the 28th, the Soviet no, Union didn't. agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba. And so the world avoided a nuclear holocaust. But in order to get the Soviets to pull their missiles out, we had to make a deal. You mean the one where the U.S. agreed to remove its IRBMs from Turkey? No. The Jupiter IRBMs no. deployed in Turkey were obsolete. And we were going to get rid of them anyway. They had no strategic value whatsoever to either the U.S. or the Russians. The turkey deal mm. was a ruse, a cover story that was found in intelligence now. agencies around the world. So what did the Russians really want? Sokolov. They wanted us to return Sokolov. 
You mean the Soviets this is where we pulled out of Cuba just to get their hands to... on Sokolov? That's right. What the hell was he working on? At the time, we had no idea. We were running out of time. It was either give up Sokolov or risk full-scale nuclear war. In the end, we had no choice. President Kennedy gave in to Khrushchev's demand. The next day, I got Sokolov out of the hospital, handing him over to agents on the eastern side. Sokolov kept on screaming, save me, until he disappeared from my side. Then a month ago, we received some new information from one of our moles. About Sokolov? Yes. He was taken back to the research facility and forced to continue working on the weapon in question under KGB supervision. Oh uh, yeah, I wonder what that weapon more, is. It's on the verge of completion. So what kind of weapon is it? Something to do with space rockets? No. Missiles. Same technology. Same technology. I guess you're right. We I just hurt my details, hand. But it appears to be a new kind of nuclear device. <laughs> Sorry. For half a year now, the Soviets have been conducting frequent nuclear tests at Semipalatinsk. Something to do with the weapon, I assume. We're talking about a secret weapon so big that Khrushchev was ready to pull out of Cuba to get it back. Is Sokolov still... That's like a moon situation? crater. No. According to our intelligence, he's in Selino Yask, a place in the mountains about three miles to the west. Oh, known as right the there. Cliffs. I see it. The Virgin Cliffs. Nice name for a virtuous mission. They moved him there just recently. Why? Apparently, uh, they're conducting a field test of the weapon. Virgin. Our best chance to get uh, him back. That's nice. This mission would never have been possible if he was still in the research facility. This is our last chance. Sokolov must have known that too when he contacted us. Finally, you would think. We're just in the falling cutscene. And this is where we can do first person view. Or I guess POV. And I believe there's an achievement to get all of the, like, look at all the POV moments. That's all you can look at, really. Sokolov back before that weapon is complete, we'll be facing a major crisis. The clock is ticking. <laughs> I feel like that's like their way of making it like, hey, look at, look at this. Once we've confirmed the rescue of Sokolov, stand by at the recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. I can't even see anything. Pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The process takes about 20 minutes. Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. The Fulton Surface to Air Recovery System. I'm familiar with the theory. Take it easy. It's been combat proof. Do you think Sokolov is up to it? The shock will be less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to 500 pounds. So you're planning on going over the border in a single combat talent? She's equipped with two six-barrel 20mm Vulcan cannons Vulcan. two 40mm machine guns. It sounds like she could hold her own against a battalion of tanks. Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours. Yeah. Oh, time for dinner. But if anything goes we'll be wrong, for dinner. you'll be eating dinner, breakfast, oh. and all the rest of your meals in the jungle. I don't want... Meals in the jungle. I want calorie mates. Finally. Just kidding. Some more cutscene. On oh, my backpack. Uh oh. Yeah. Superhero landing. He's like, oh. And then.
bug eyes. Yeah. Yeah. And dramatic. Oh. Look at the band around his hair. This is so funny. Oh. Snake. You gotta stand behind a tree and crouch. Yeah. See, I should have done the. Next time, baby. Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory, and somebody might be listening in. Oh. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring Naked. to as Snake from now on. You're not to mention your real name. Snake? Oh. Well, you don't like snakes? What do you mean? Well, you've eaten one before, haven't you? In survival training. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Uh, uh, I don't know if I'd ever order one in a restaurant, but be careful. You <laughs> might not have a choice. What about you, I don't Major? Know if order one in a restaurant, you? but mm, let's see. I'll be, I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. This will be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Mm. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox Unit's speciality. In other words. Weapons and equipment to yeah. procure on site. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. Great. Now I see why you asked me if I like snakes. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No. There's a good reason for that. I'll tell you later when the time is right. Gotcha. Getting back to the subject, how exactly am I supposed to feed myself? Major Tom. You've been issued a knife and a tranquilizer gun. Use them to hunt for food. You'll also find some medical supplies in your backpack. Yeah, about the backpack. I lost it in a tree on the way <laughs> down. I see. Well, you'd better go back and get it then. You know where it is? <sighs> no problem. I can see it from here. It's, it's stuck, stuck on, on a branch. branch. To climb a tree, stand in front of a tree that's covered in ivy and press the action button. Yeah. I'll be monitoring your progress over the radio. We can't risk violating Soviet airspace, but I'll be in the gunship. My frequency is 140.85. I'll give you a call if I need to talk to you. If you need to talk to me, use the send function. Okay, Snake, go get your backpack. Finally. Yeah. Just jump off and immediately die. Alright, let's see. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. I was gonna say, how long is it gonna take to... Oh, I don't have my backpack. Ugh, nice. Keep forgetting. It's gonna take me a minute to get you set. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Thought there was another one. I saw you. Like my fancy moves. I see you've retrieved your backpack, Snake. 
To equip a weapon, it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. In the survival viewer, choose weapon from the... Paramedic. You've lost weight. Oh. Yeah, we kind of know this. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. You saw my CQC skills. Boom! Commencing virtuous mission now. Now. Here we go. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there is a frog. I think I have to climb back up here. See, I have the book, and, uh... Because I bought this version, and yep, oh, I guess that's gonna take me a, a minute to get used to. Yep. Okay, I see. So this is more like precise. I see. Capturing a live, or, or capture an animal alive. I read that backwards. I thought it said capture a live animal. There should be some, uh, crocodiles. Also, there's some uh, mud. Maybe stand in the middle and start sinking. Oh. Hello, buddy. How are you? Oh, can I, um... That actually scared me. I Okay, I think. I want some alligator. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. I thought that was a box. I think if I have a cigar, they'll go away. Yep. No, it's bad for your health. Alright, this aim needs to get better. Alright, let's... Go to our camouflage. I like the face because obviously that's what I did. And then for uniform, um, yeah, I do like the classic. Let's do that. Backpack. Um, 
We have all that stuff already out. Let's see. Just eat some food. Mmm. Ah. Uh. Wait. I want some more. Yeah. What about anaconda? That's tasty. I know you like it. Ugh. I was gonna say, I thought there was one close by. I think there is another one back there, but. Let's go! The famous uh, GIF. Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers. Or I thought I actually. They're I don't think it is. KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK-47s and grenades. They can kill us. Snake, your presence in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. We can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Contact with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. The uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the face option lets you change your face paint. Okay. Choosing camouflage that blends. Okay. Let's really see. I mean, Woodland. Nah, I like the splitter. Yeah, I think that's the max we're gonna get. I don't know why my health isn't going up. I guess I gotta wait for the cure. Maybe I don't have medicine. Oh. I forgot he was right there. Night night. Cause I really always knew that my little. I thought there was another frog over here. There's also like, if I remember, like, uh, landmines. No snake. Or no, claymores, I, I believe, actually. Hello, buddy. I'm not trying to crawl. Oh.
grenade. There's a frog up here, if I'm not mistaken. So I know there's a dude right here. Drift. Aha, uh -huh. I knew there was one over here. Doom, 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 doom. Do, 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 do. I swear I thought there was a another one over here. I think I'm just missing it. It's all right. We'll get them next time. Womp, 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 womp. One one one. It's the bridge. That's the uh, GIF meme or whatever. It's almost like a Lego smile. Dude, my stick drift is going to kill me. face I'm sorry yeah wait, let's do flectrin flectarn see if you do this I believe you don't have to deal with that Now I gotta deal with it. I could have sworn you couldn't pick them up. Slowly walk. See, I remember doing the frog, like, achievement. So, like, I remember, like, some of the frog areas where I'm like, wait a minute. I remember standing here 
and looking in some weird like way. Also, this stick drift is literally keeps flying straight up like keeps doing this. Oh my god, so bad. We need to get a new controller. I mean, I don't know why we would we would need need to use this right now, but but can't speak right now. That uh sneeze got me. But I thought there was another frog from like here. <laughs> Snake eater. Bow, doom, 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 down, down, down. Someone's gonna be watching this. It's gonna be like, "You missed it, you idiot! You were looking right at it." I'm sorry. I'm kind of an idiot. I ran out. Yeah, the red brick. I gotta call somebody. Major, I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. This place is a dump. This place is a dump. Let me see. I can't see Sokolov from here. <laughs> the security is pretty tight. Hey, yo. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, mm. is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. Do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? <laughs> no, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. Bam, bam, bam. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, stop looking straight up. I bet he felt that. Who was that? Let's go to sleep, buddy. It happens every time. Like, don't you just want to go to sleep? Oh, look. M thirty seven shotgun. Here's somebody walking around here. Huh? Who was that?
the guy up there. Okay. I was like, is it gonna let me go in there? Not the books. You want to say Since sorry he was so late. Are you one of Vulcan's men? You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. The other side. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? Also the dog from, a message from him. Uh, Nightmare for Christmas. It? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. <laughs> Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Uh-oh. Who's they? Colonel Volgan of Gru. You Gru. Know him as Thunderbolt. Also, have you seen the Minion movie? Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the army's extremist faction, a man who More seeks to seem control of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. No! Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity Morgan. to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgan of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Gronin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon no. that he's been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgan from capturing me. Even that can be good. Killing me in the process. So it would seem. Or so it would seem. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. Is that so? <laughs> America is truly a frightening country. Having second thoughts? No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. All right. Let me sit down. That's where all my good things happen. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? 
I managed to get past them. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. Uh -oh. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. Come on, Baldy. Let's go. <laughs> hey, idiot. That big head's gonna get hit. He's gonna karate chop somebody. Hey, uh... Legendary boss. Huh? Huh? We meet at last. Ocelot. You, you're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh? What's a crew soldier doing here? <laughs> it looks like a little soldier. water pistol. The Ocelot Commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. Oh. Don't you forget it. Major what? Josh Keaton. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. And Ocelot never lets his yeah. escape. What? Uh oh. on the roof. Hat. I can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Huh. Huh. It's like eyes are all not the boss, are you? Oh. Crew operatives. What is that stance? That gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If you're not the boss, then die. <laughs> Me 
Major! Leave it! Shoot the other one! Whoa! Just tranquilizers. Whoa! Catch it. Never mind. Thought he was. Possible. You ejected the first bullet by hand, didn't you? I see what you were trying to do, but testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you. Besides, <sighs> I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! No! Ocelot. But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> pretty good. God. I don't know where um, Sokolov went. I do know where he went, but Major, he ran you off. Read me. I read you. Snake, you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. Submit Ocelot. Watch this. Saving the game, Snake? Gotta save it first. Hey Snake, you ever heard of God? Yeah, we get it. It's Godzilla. There it goes. I like legit was like just aiming and I instantly shot him. Time paradox. Just kidding. All right, let's actually go over here. I think we can actually go in this room because we didn't officially go in it, I thought. Alright. 
I go to the other side. That was a loud explosion. I could have sworn there was another frog. I thought maybe right before I said that I would see it. And then there's one over there. Yeah, I don't see it. Alright, let's go get Sokolov. Sokolov. Thought I saw something in the corner of my eye. Sokolov. Oh, I thought he was king. Okay. from the Ocelot unit, Spetsnaz. Yes. The best crew has to offer. They're coming for me. I'm finished! Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask. Look. Uh oh. That's what they were making you build. Yes. The Shagahod. The treading behemoth, a tank capable of launching nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain? Oh, yes. And without support from friendly units. A nuclear-equipped tank capable of operating solo. Uh-oh. Is that thing finished? No, this is only the end of phase one. It won't be truly finished until we complete Phase two. Phase two. The weapon's true form. If it is completed and the Colonel gets his hands on it, it Colonel. will be the end of the Cold War. The end of the Cold War? Yes. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. A world war. I had no choice but to cooperate. I didn't want to die. Pretty selfish. I wanted to see my wife and child again in America. Please take me to America quickly. They cannot complete it without my help. Got it. Let's go. Got it. I was say, I don't think this is me playing yet. Another cutscene. I think it's about to be just cutscene galore right now, also. It's just water. He'll survive. Good work, Jack. What are you doing here? Sokolov comes with me.
Uh oh. The pain. Not the fear. Oh, they're on my screen. Cutscene to another cutscene. All the hornet vibration. She got the pain. My friends, let us fight together again. I have waited long for this day. We will fight with you once more. The end. Welcome back, boss. Now that all five of us are together. It's time we go to the depths of hell itself. It's raining blood. Is he crying? Ah, what a joyful scene. Colonel Vogan. Welcome to my country. And to my unit. Neil Ross. Boss, what is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift for my new hosts. Recoilless nuclear warheads. These will make a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is this he? This can't be happening. Another one of your disciples? Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. Too pure for us cobras. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? Ow. Uh, uh oh. Watch out, your arm's about to start hurting. Oh. This we're finished. Uh oh. He must die. Wait. He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. <clears throat> Jack, you can't come with us. Don't do it. Oh, the arm. Ooh.
Then bandana. The new blood has been rejected. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Morgan. Are we done here? Now on to Sokolov's research facility. Shagohad is ours. Drift away. My place is with them now. Drift away. Achievement. Nuclear explosion. Sail away, sail away. Uh oh. My headphones are falling. Jack. Snake, can you hear me? Yeah. Just barely. Snake. Listen to me, you need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? I need to cure myself. You've got to get those wounds treated. Hang in there. All right, let's get you fixed up. Paramedic? Okay, Snake. Just relax and it'll all be over before you know it. Stay with me. I've seen people in worse shape before. Think you can handle it? Major. She's defected. We'll talk about that later. First, we've got to get you patched up. Okay, here we go. First, open the survival viewer with the start button. Yeah, she just tells me how to do it, so I'm going to do it. Ooh, cut. Broken bone. No bandage applied. Bandage. Bone fractured. Splint. Uh, no bandage applied. Okay. Suffering from a deep cut, bleeding, not yet disinfected. Uh. I'm not a medic. A bandage. It's a cut. <laughs> yeah, we use the knife on the cut. Kind of like Ricky Bobby style. Bone broken. Uh, bandage. Oh. Oh. Controller, please. It's like tick 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 tick. Oh, this is, heart's gonna suck. Don't look if you're squeamish. Oh. <laughs> God. Bandana. Uh, 
Well, it wasn't that big. Good job, Snake. We're coming to get you now. Just stay where you are. We'll drop a recovery balloon. Can you set it up? They're moving it. Shagohod. Oh. Shagohod. He's gonna die. More cutscene. They all have like their own helicopter. That would be pretty cool. He's like, I'm going to test it now. Excellent. A great success. Thanks to the boss and her cobras, I have both Sokolov and the Shagohod. <laughs> His mouth was like wide open. She's Sokolov's woman. She's a nice catch. I'll take her. Not so fast, my dear. Lipstick. So death. Are you KGB? We may be able to use her. She has spunk. He's like grabs her. Yeah. 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 Shall we take her back to the base? Perhaps we should. We have no further use for Sokolov's research facility. Research. It's time I gave this marvelous new toy what? a try. Kurt, even if they are our enemies, they're still our countrymen. But it won't be me that pulled the trigger. It'll be our friend, the American defector. You're going to nuke your fellow Russians? <laughs> Remember the Alamo. Colonel! <laughs> Good aim. It's gonna burn and melt. Yeah. Whoa. 
Radical. On the next episode. Oh, Konami presents. Dun, 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 copyright strike.